We are not exceptional. We're part of everything around us. One of the reasons for wanting to protect other species is because they are kin. I mean, in some instances, they're very close kin, where we share 99% of all our genetics with bonobo chimps, for instance. This kinship is something I think humans actually knew a very long time ago. This idea of kinship survived among native people uh, here in the United States. That was evident in their ceremonies and their religious stories of their origins and the way they treated animals. But in terms of old worlders, people who came out of the European tradition and ended up coming to North America, we became captives in a way of the Judeo-Christian religion that taught us a different way of looking at ourselves. It taught us that we were exceptional. We were the only creatures that were made in the image of a God, only ones that had souls. Everything else was just here for us to use. And that particular religious approach, I think, set us up for some of the overreach and some of the damage that we did when we came to North America. Even in the Western world, when Charles Darwin wrote On the Origin of Species in 1859, Darwin, in a way, was providing the scientific background and foundation for this old idea of kinship. So that's how we need to look at ourselves, I think. Not as something exceptional that stands apart from all the rest of the world, but as part of the living world around us.